Hello everyone, my name is Vessel and uh, this is the very first video on my YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, I have done a 26 day hike through the Netherlands and uh, I found it amazing. And that's why I want to share it with you guys. Uh, first a little introduction, my name is Vessel, I am 23 years old. Uh, I am Dutch and that's also why I started traveling in the Netherlands. Uh, just to get used to traveling before going abroad. Um, and, uh, well, I'm still a student. I study medicine. Uh, I want to travel a lot. And that's also why I started this YouTube channel. To, um, to share my travels with, uh, with the public. Anyway, uh, so where I have gone and what you can see in the videos upcoming year. Uh, we started in the very north. In the province of Groningen, uh, in the village of Pieterburen, and we went south to Winsen and Groningen through the Hogeland. The Hogeland is quite a quite an odd name uh, because it literally means the highland, and it is one of the flattest areas of the Netherlands. Um, nonetheless, it was actually quite beautiful. After the city of Groningen, we continue to the Drenthe A, and we will enter the province of Drenthe. Um, through Drenthe, we will continue through the landscape of the Drenthe A, to uh, Rolde, and after that through the heart of Drenthe, to uh, Schoonlo, Slain, and then Koeverden. After Koeverden, we continue towards our Dale of the Vecht. The Vecht is the smallest of the large rivers of the Netherlands, uh, and it, uh, well, it will take us uh, through Hardenberg, the first city in the province of Overijs that we are uh, going to enter, and then onward to Ommen. After Ommen, things get a little, more, uh, a, little bit, a little bit more hilly, and uh, yeah, a lot more beautiful, to be honest, because then we reach the hill ridge of Salem. We will walk through the hill ridge of Stalin uh, from Ommen to Hennendorn and then to Holten. After Holten, we quickly uh, cross the border to Gelderland uh, and into the Achterhoek. Now, the Achterhoek is an area known for mostly farmers, but is home to a lot more. Uh, large forest ranges, uh, massive houses that are almost castle-like in shape and size. Uh, and overall just pretty beautiful nature. Uh, we will follow our way through the Achterhoek from Laren to Forden, Zellem, and then to Braam. And after Braam, uh, it won't take long before we enter the gate of the Netherlands. Or the gate of Gelderland, I mean. Now, the gate of Gelderland is the place where the Rhine enters the Netherlands. And you can really see a lot flatter surface when you reach the tail of the Rhine. Uh, quite odd to see, I must say. And uh, after uh, Brahm, we will continue to Millingen aan de Rhine. After Millingen aan de Rhine, we continue southward to uh, Groesbeek. And after Groesbeek, we will enter the, the, the dunes of the Mune. Uh, that area uh, of the Netherlands, we will uh, walk to Gennep, the uh, province of Limburg. Then we will cross into the province of North Brabant to the village of Bay, And then we will go back to Limburg on our way to Zwolgen and Venlo. After Venlo, uh, things get a lot more hilly. Uh, because we will walk along the German border to Smolven, which is quite a uh, hilly region of the Netherlands. After Smolman, we go further south to Montfort and Sittard, um, which are two places in the Dale of the Ruhr, uh, another small river of the Netherlands, quite a beautiful area. And after Sittard, we continue further south to Strabé, over the plateau of Limburg. Now, that is Probably the most hilly part of the Netherlands. Um, 
and is also one of the most beautiful of the Netherlands, in my opinion. Um, that episode, I will also have something pretty cool for you uh, to show to you. So, um, stay watching, and you will see it's really amazing. Uh, and after Strabeek, we continue onward to Mount St. Peter. Um, so, that was basically the hike. It was 26 days of walking, and so I will also make 26 episodes. Uh, I loved the, uh, the hike, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you are going to enjoy it too. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all next time.